Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the masterclass. Today, we're going to be learning a staple in making montages, rotoscoping. If you like that little effect I just showed you, that is made with a tool using rotoscoping. And basically what rotoscoping is, is cutting out the character in a really fast way. And that's exactly what we're going to be learning today. You can make some absolute crazy effects with rotoscoping. It's something that so many pro editors use in their montages. And so many of you've been asking how I cut out my character so well in all my edits. So today's video is definitely for you. But we're actually not going to be recreating this edit that I just showed you. We're going to be creating something brand new today. I have no idea what it is hopefully it's pretty cool i'm gonna grind this out all night and bring you guys along for the ride it's gonna be a whole vibe i'm feeling good man i got my g fuel i'm ready to go speaking of g fuel they got a whole bunch of brand new halloween flavors out right now and they're all so fire i literally have a g fuel every single morning each tub honestly lasts me a couple of months but if you don't want to commit to that they also have trial sachets which i really recommend you can pretty much try a whole bunch of flavors and then whichever one you like you can then grab a tub i couldn't recommend it enough i'll leave that link in the description and you probably going to see throughout this video this is going to go down as we're grinding out this edit so let's get right into it so in order for you to understand rotoscoping first let me show you how it works with a fortnite character also just really quick pro tip before we even start if you want your character cutting out to be so much easier then use a skin that is exactly like a superhero skin all one color it'll make your life so much easier and i'm going to show you why right now so for example let's put on an all red skin i'll even make her hair red save an exit and now i'm going to jump into creative and show you the magic of rotoscoping so for example i'm just going to get a clip of me running in a straight line and now I'm going to pull up After Effects yes rotoscoping is only on After Effects but trust me after I show you this you are definitely gonna want to switch to After Effects and now we got our clip in After Effects let me show you how to rotoscope so what you want to do is head on up to this little tool here where it has the character and the paintbrush and it should say roto brush tool we're just gonna click on that and double click on our clip and it's gonna open up a new window and it's really as simple as going to the first frame of your clip that you want to cut out zoom in onto your character let's make this a lot bigger and just click once more on the rotor brush tool and now as you can see we can paint on this character and basically what it's gonna do is automatically cut out the character. You can see this pink line that it's drawn in on here. Let me just change the color to green so you can see it a little better. So it's literally already done a really good job and I just scribbled one line. So it's got the legs really good. It's got this part really good. It hasn't added the head. So I'm literally just gonna draw like a circle for the head and it's automatically just gonna, dude, this tool is amazing. Now, if we just click up here to our composition panel, you can actually see what it's cut out now it's got a little part in the arm there so I'm just gonna go back to the layer panel I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard and that's actually gonna get rid of a section so I'm just gonna draw literally the roughest thing and now let's go back into the composition panel and we've got literally a perfect cutout character how easy was that now you're probably thinking well fleet this is only one frame I want it in motion well all you have to do literally is press spacebar and it's automatically gonna take the sections that you've cut out and kind of follow where it goes and as you can see this green bar is actually rendering it up and just by scribbling three lines we're probably going to have a perfect rotoscope just because I'm using a bright red skin it makes it so much easier so once again let's go back to see what it looks like in motion now remember we did this in like two seconds so it might not be perfect and that's borderline perfect like that is looking pretty good to me there are some very subtle blue leaks but we can fix that with an effect called color key I'm going to set the color to the same background color that it was like this light bluish color and I'm just going to up the tolerance until those blue edges kind of go away so if I just zoom in here you can see here's without the effect and here's with so it definitely does clean up those blue edges and now when I play it back that is a borderline perfect character cut out in literally two minutes now obviously it's not always going to be this easy you're not always just going to have a red character on a blue background but I was just using this for an example on how good this rotor brush tool is but now is when the fun starts i'm gonna grab a creative clip jump into after effects and make an insane edit with this tool all right so here's a clip i'm gonna be using for this edit once again shout out to the homie nally kid is literally insane 
perfect clip for a build-up. And I've also already created some sound effects for the build-up for this edit. If you're wondering why I start with sound effects, then definitely go check out my masterclass where I explain why. All right, I've smashed my G Fuel. I'm so excited for this edit, man. I reckon it's gonna slap, so let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna start by dragging the clip in as well as the song and the sound effects. We are going to, as always, start with the syncing. And now if you don't know how to sync, you can go check out my how-to flow tutorial where I literally give you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how I do my sync. All right, so sync's done. Let's check it out. So nothing special just yet, but now it's time to take what we've learned about rotoscoping, cut out this character, and make some cool effects. Alright, so I've picked the part in which I want to cut out. Now, we do have some issues. The first issue being this health bar that overlaps the character there. It does mess with Rotobrush a little bit. As well as this time, we obviously don't have a bright red character on a blue background. We've actually got a pretty neutral colored character. So this one's definitely going to take a little bit more effort. I'm going to do a slow time lapse so you guys can see exactly how I do first little outline not too bad we do have some things to fix up here remember by holding alt on my keyboard i can actually make this red and it'll actually get rid of a selection rather than adding it so that is looking pretty good for our first frame cut out let's move on to the next frames i'm just going to zoom into my timeline here and literally go to the very next frame and make sure everything is good with the cutout. Only a few minor things to fix, but it kept it pretty good. So like I said, this health bar was going to be an issue. So I kind of just predicted where I thought things were behind it. Honestly, I recommend just getting clips without health bars and you won't have to deal with this. All right, so going frame by frame probably took about 20 minutes. Now, it definitely shouldn't take this long. This is probably the worst character to do it with. But as you can see, the cutout actually turned really good. So what I'm going to do is just click this freeze button. And that's just going to freeze all my hard work to make sure the After Effects doesn't randomly just change it or delete it. And here's what we finish with, a pretty perfect cutout of the character. Finally, we got all the hard work done. Let's get to the effects. Alright, now you're probably waiting to see what I've made, so check this out. Now you're probably wondering exactly how I made this effect, and I'd love to go over it, but it'd take me too long, so I'm gonna save it for when I go live. Which, by the way, I'm streaming now right here on this channel, and you're only gonna catch it if you turn my notifications on. So make sure you subbed with the noties. I really appreciate you guys making it all the way to the end of the video. If you did, drop a purple heart in the comments and I'll favorite it. I'll leave some tutorials up on screen for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.